So a few people want to know how to actually um, mint NFTs on Enter.Art now that it's open to the public, so via the launchpad. So let's have a look at that. So what you need to do first of all, you need to connect your MetaMask wallet. Now I use Chrome, and my MetaMask is up here, and I've just literally gone onto Enter.Art forward slash create, and I've connected my wallet via the button that was here. Okay, so then what I need to do is I need to create my unique username just to do on the case, so I'm going to do that. Choose an avatar. So I'm just going to add something up here just so that it's in there. That's now going to import it. I could crop it via this little option here if I wanted, but that's going to do for now. And then you'll see that avatar is now in there. In fact, let me do that. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to select my logo and I am going to crop it. So we'll do that now. Uh, looks pretty good. Apply cropping and then save. Nice. Okay, so that's now populating into the avatar section about me. Okay, Twitter and Instagram and Instagram and save. So there we go. I've now created my profile. I can show followers. This is obviously my page where I could display my NFTs that I have created, what I own, what my favorites are and any transactions, my avatar, my profile name, how many followers and likes I have, what my links are and then I can actually edit my profile from here. So then what I need to go on to is create NFT and this is where you can actually do that. So upload and fill out the data. So let's import an NFT. I'm just going to choose one track as an idea. I'm going to select the cover for it. You can play it if it's a song, which is good. Title, exclusive info for buyer, which will only be shown for NFT owners. Creator royalties, so I'm going to say 20% is the maximum value. So you could go from 1% uh, to 20%. When you mint an NFT with more than 5% royalty, your earnings will be locked as bidding tokens for 30 days before you can withdraw them to your wallet as NFT art. Okay, so that's something to bear in mind. We've got the, uh, this is just uploading now, so which is why it hasn't previewed properly. So we'll just give it a second. As you can see, you've got a progress bar here as well, which is really helpful. There you go, now it's starting to populate. This interface is really good actually. Okay, so now I'm going to click on create, check all the fields and provide a value. So just waiting for that to happen. Click create and it's created. Obviously that's not minted yet. So you can change it to mint. And in order to become a creator, you now need to fill out the application form to be able to do that. So what you then do is you become a creator and you'll fill out this form. So you'll put in exactly your username that you've created on here. You will then put in your wallet address, which is your MetaMask wallet. So it will be the case of going into here and copying that to the clipboard. What your email address is, what the picture ID is, um, which should be a driving license or a passport and then they can actually approve you to then mint your NFT. So there you go. Uh, other options you've got is list for sale as soon as that's been uh, minted, and then you've got delete as well. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Thank you, bye.